Hi, this is David with David's Tutorial. And in today's video, I want to show you how to make one of my absolute favorite pre-ketogenic salads, carrot raisin salad. Now this salad is only non-ketogenic because of two of the ingredients in here. And I'll tell you about those right now. The ingredients in the carrot raisin salad are really only three or four things. There's the carrots, there's the raisins, there's the pineapple tidbits, and there's the sauce. That's all there is in it, and I'm gonna show you how I make it, and I'm gonna tell you why it's so good. Let me tell you that right now. What happened was, I developed this salad over a period of several iterations, probably eight, 10, you know, tweaking it until I got it, ooh, just right. And I had made it several times since then over a period of years, and I ran out of it, and about a week later, I went out to eat at a cafeteria restaurant, and there they had in the cafeteria restaurant carrot raisin salad sitting right there. I said, oh, I love carrot raisin salad. Let me get that. So I got that, and they put it on my plate, and I took it out to my table, and I sat down, and I took a bite of it, and this isn't that good. Why isn't it that good? It wasn't my carrot raisin salad, and they just didn't know how to make it the way I make it. So let me share with you right now how I learned to make carrot raisin salad. The first thing I need is two pounds of carrots. Now, as you can see, these are organic carrots, and I prefer the organic carrots because carrots grow in dirt, and I'm going to wash the carrots, but I'm not gonna peel them, and I'm going to scrub them off with a brush but I don't want them having all of the hormones and pesticides and herbicides and everything else, fertilizers that have gotten inside the carrots. Now, any vegetation, they're gonna absorb what's in the soil. Now, fertilizer is okay because they transport that. I'm not gonna say artificial fertilizer is okay, but natural fertilizers, they're great. And they help the plant grow. They absorb what they need out of the soil, they leave what's not, but as far as other things such as herbicides and pesticides, I don't even want to take a chance that they have been absorbed into the food I eat, and that's why I buy organic. In addition to the carrots, I use raisins, and I use pineapple tidbits, and I use a sauce that I make, and I'm gonna show you how to make that sauce here in just a minute, but first, let's wash and shred the carrots. Now you can shred the carrots using a hand grater like this. I've done that before. It's a lot of work and the shreds themselves, they're a little bit large on this particular type of hand grater. I have found that when you make carrot raisin salad, one of the keys to making it really, really good is something I mentioned in my summertime fruit salad video chunk size. If you get the shreds of the carrot to be just exactly the right size, it's so much better than if they're too large or they're too small. Now, I use an Oster Kitchen Center to grate my carrots. This is the Oster Kitchen Center. They're not available for sale anymore, except you can probably find them on eBay. I bought this <laughs> nearly four decades ago, and it was $130 in, and it was a bargain. But the thing I use here is the food processor attachment, which you can see here has a really nice blade, and this particular blade shreds the carrots to exactly the perfect size for carrot raisin salad. We also have a food processor and the reason I don't use the food processor for this, which I probably shouldn't, everybody who is a kitchen aficionado has probably got or wants a food processor, but the reason I don't use it is because the only carrot shredding blade we have for it shreds the pieces to too small, and it just isn't quite as good as the shreds in this size. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the carrots and cut the ends off of them. I do not want the ends of the carrots in the carrot raisin salad. I'm getting both ends because I don't know what's on the small end. Okay. 
The next thing I'm going to do is wash the carrots. Now when I wash the carrots, I've got a really stiff brush here. You can use any other kind of stiff brush, such as this vegetable brush here. As long as it's got stiff bristles, the main reason for having stiff bristles is that you want to get down into the little creases in the carrot and get out all of the stuff that might be in there. All you want left is carrot. But because I'm going to scrub them really good with a stiff bristle brush, I don't have to peel them. And besides, I've heard, and you may have heard as well, but I don't know for sure, that a lot of the vitamins and minerals are in the peel of the carrot. Let's get started. This is probably the most tedious part of the whole process, washing the carrot, but it's worth it. The next thing I need to do, of course, is grate the carrots. And here we are with the Oster Kitchen Center. Fortunately, with a gadget like this, it goes pretty quickly. There we have it, two pounds of carrots, grated really nicely. Now, one safety issue, if you're gonna open this up to clean off the carrots from around the blade, always unplug it first. That's just a safety consideration. Now that I have the carrot shredded, it's time to make the sauce. But before I make the sauce, I'm going to drain the pineapple because it comes in pineapple juice. And we don't want that much juice in the carrot raisin salad because that'll make it too watery. So I'm going to open the top of the pineapple can. That puts a little hole right there. And I'm going to invert that pineapple can into this bowl and let it drain while I make the rest of the salad. Now the sauce that I put into the carrot raisin salad is made up of one and one quarter cups of sour cream, one and one quarter cups of mayonnaise, and sweetener. Now a lot of people like to use sugar as sweetener, and if you use sugar, use a third of a cup. I prefer artificial sweetener, and I used to use Splenda, but now I'm using something called Truvia. Truvia is mostly stevia, with erythritol in it and it doesn't spike blood sugar and it has zero calories so what's not to like if you use artificial sweetener or sweetener packets i say you should use somewhere between 12 and 15. i say start with 10 or 12 and then taste it and if it's not quite sweet enough then put a few more packets in let's go ahead and get started now i use to measure out both the sour cream and the mayonnaise, I use this adjustable liquid dry measure. It's got a sliding tube inside of it. Let me go ahead and pull it. There we go. Now you might want to notice here that I've got a marker mark right on the outside of the tube. Here, let me show you that. And that helps me know right where my one and one quarter mark is. So I pull it down to there and I have one and one quarter cups in this area of the tube. Okay, first I'm gonna dish up the sour cream and put it in the bowl. Sometimes when you open sour cream, there's a little bit of the whey on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir that in. Once the liquid, which I think is whey, is mixed in, all I do is just dish it up into this container. I think I need a second spoon to help me get the sour cream out of the dishing spoon. Then 
That looks like just the right amount of sour cream. Let's put it into the mixing bowl for the sauce. Now it's time for the mayonnaise. First I make sure the adjustment is proper. Right at that mark I made. Good. Now let's dish up some mayo. And it looks like there was just enough mayonnaise left in this jar to be what I need for the carrot raisin salad sauce. Okay, we now put the mayonnaise into the mixing bowl. All that's left to do in making the sauce is to put the sweetener in, and I'm going to start with about 12 packets of Truvia. Shake them down, get all the powder in one end, tear off the end, and dump it. This is 10 packets. And here's 12. These are the three left in case I need them. Now it's time to mix up the sauce. I just stir it up with my spoon until it looks nice and smooth. Now, since I've done this a lot, I'm probably only going to need zero or one adjustment. I've got a nice clean spoon here. Let me taste this and see how it tastes. I think it could use maybe two more packets. Again, clean spoon. That is better. Okay, the only few things we have left to do is to put it all together. Here we go. We've got the carrots all shredded. By the way, let me show you the size of these carrots. See the size of these shreds? That's absolutely perfect for carrot raisin salad. Smaller to me, it's just too small. Larger, it's like you're eating almost raw carrot. So the chunk size, or in this case, the shred size, is really important to making a great carrot raisin salad. By the way, the video here is not just about carrot raisin salad, it's part of my playlist on food and kitchen tips. So there's going to be more tips in here than just carrot raisin salad. And one of those tips, and I haven't mentioned this before, is clean up as you go. You won't be sorry if you do that. If you clean up as you go, see the work area here is relatively clean. I put things away pretty much as soon as I'm done with them, except if I'm making a recording like this one, in which case I want to finish it up pretty quick, but cleaning as you go makes it super easy when you're done to finish cleaning up. I'm going to rinse this. Running hot water can cure a lot of messes. Time to mix in the sauce into the carrots. I'm doing this before I add any of the other additives, basically the pineapple and the raisins, because I want the sauce to be on every single shred of carrot. It might look at first like there's too much sauce in here. Oh, time to turn the water off. 
but after it gets all mixed in, you'll find that it's just the right amount of sauce for the amount of carrots, because actually there's two pounds of carrots in here. That's a lot of carrots. Don't forget when you're mixing it up to dig down to the bottom of the bowl and get all the carrot shreds that might not have gotten if you were just stirring without thinking of getting to the bottom of the bowl. As you're stirring it up, look not just at the fact that you're getting it on all the shreds, but look at how much is on all the shreds. For example, you can see right here, these carrots are orange, which means they have less. These are white, which means they have too much. So I'm going to have to stir it up to kind of make it have the same color all the way through. And that, of course, will also require you to do a little bit more stirring than you thought you might have to do when you got started. But I got to tell you, doing it right is worth the effort. Now, while I'm stirring these carrots, pardon me if I have just a little bit of an opinion piece here. I've got an awful lot of people who write comments on my videos, and I got to tell you, I appreciate every single comment that people write on the videos, even the people who disagree with me. And you know what? There are people who get on there and they call me names. That's who they are, and that's okay. I don't mind if you call me names. <laughs> a lot of people call me old. Well, I am old, but here's one thing you got to keep in mind. People who are old have more experience than you do. That means I have made a lot of mistakes that you have yet to make. And when I make these tutorial videos, I am telling you the way to avoid the mistakes I've made in the past. For example, how much sour cream, how much mayonnaise, how much sweetener. I've gone through dozens of iterations to figure out the right proportions. And you get the benefit of my experience and my bad salads before I got to what I like. Now, you should use this not as the be-all and end-all. This is the only way to do it. That's not correct. You should use this as your starting point. And when you get to making it how you like it, then you say, how can I make this better? And try a variation on it. And that may be better. It may not be better. And then you try a different variation. And eventually, you will come up with a recipe that is best for you. Now, one thing that's certain in all of my years of <clears throat> experience, chronological advantage, I have found out everybody's different. Everybody has different tastes. Everybody likes something different. And you know what? That's okay. Now, this carrot raisin salad at this point, it looks very nicely homogenous between the carrots and the sauce. Now it's time to add the extras. The first thing in carrot raisin salad is, of course, carrots. And the second thing in carrot raisin salad is raisins. In the carrot raisin salad, I use one to one and a half cups of raisins. It depends on the raisins. It depends on what I'm feeling like at the time. It just depends on my taste and your taste. Okay, I've got a two cup measure here. The exact amount is not important. It's just the rough amount and since I'm going to give most of this away to my grandkids, I'm going to put in the whole one and one half cups of raisins. Of course, being old, my eyes are not as good as they were when they were when I was in my 20s, so I got to put on these glasses. Gee, that might be too many raisins. Too bad. Okay, I'm going to add those in. And before I mix them, I'm going to add the pineapples. Now, the pineapple has been sitting right over here, draining this whole time, so we don't have too much pineapple juice in the mixture. Let me go ahead and finish opening that can. When opening cans, be really careful because these edges can be sharp. You can cut yourself if you're not careful. All right, let's add the raisins. And now let's mix it up. Now the purpose for saving the pineapple juice is first, if the carrot raisin salad is not juicy enough, I can add a little bit, usually only a tablespoon or even a teaspoon at a time to make it looser, to make it more moist. 
if the carrot raisin salad is moist enough, and that's usually the case the way I make it, then the pineapple juice can be set aside and used as pineapple juice. Maybe people like to drink pineapple juice. I used to like to drink it, but not a lot. It's kind of got kind of a bite. It's good, but then some people might use it, turn it into a pineapple juice cocktail of some sort. Okay, this looks like it's mixed quite well. Time for the taste test. Clean spoon. Let's try it. Yep, that's got it. It's better than any carrot raisin salad I've ever had in a restaurant or a cafeteria. And the kids love it too. I hope you've really enjoyed learning how to make this kind of carrot raisin salad. If you have, please give us a great big old thumbs up there. And don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section down below. Tell us what you think of this. Share it with anybody you know that might want to learn how to make this really good carrot raisin salad. And don't forget, if you're not already a subscriber, click on that subscribe button and then the bell icon and YouTube will notify you by email whenever we post another great tutorial right here on David's Tutorials.